OK, so now let's go to different type of those charts and we will cover those visualizations again in our data visualization class. So the first is line graph. So line graph is great to show the trends of each variable so that how the variable change over time. OK, and so those individual variables are identified by the variation of those line characters. Um, so here, this is an example that by using line graph. So you can see here, uh, we have the number of tweets being collected in different years. And by using line graph, we can see it's very clear that there is a peak, okay, um, on the January uh, 5th and 6th in 2016. Okay, so line graph is great to show the trend of each variable. And you can use multiple lines or you can change the colors, style, thickness uh, to distinguish different variables. So here, let's go to our example. So here, let's see, uh, let's look at this line chart. So this is a line chart that shows a price change over time. However, so uh, in most cases, we want to do some calculation first and then we want to visualize the result. So for example, we want to see the average price per year. So we don't want to see the price, just simply price. And actually this chart is showing the average price. Okay, because it aggregated the result automatically. So, but let's do that one um, specifically. So in a way that we can, we know that what we are doing. So let's say date frame dot group by so let's group by year that has been built. And let's calculate the mean values for each single year. Okay, and you can see here we have the mean price, bed, number of bedroom, bathroom, lot size, etc. So let's say we just want the price. Okay, so now we have the result. Okay, so uh, you can see that if you're just simply looking at the the data, the values, it is very hard for you to understand what they are talking about. So let's pass that one to a variable. So average price per year. OK, so let's pass that one to a variable. And now let's just call this variable dot plot. OK, so this is the what the place where I really like data frame because uh, when you call this variable and they know that this variable has yet the labels and also the values. And if you use that one dot plot. OK, so by default, it will create a line chart. OK, it will create line chart. You can see it, this is exactly as we did in the previous one. So. Uh, so in the previous one, so we just call a, a sort value and also plot x equals y equals. So they create um, uh, so that you can see that we do have those tiny variations here. But now when we calculated the mean values and now we create this plot, you can see it is a clear trend that we have some peaks in those years and also there's a peak in those years. And also, we have peak in that year. OK, uh, so that is creating a line chart. So I think the, the step is first, you have to design your calculation. So in this case, we calculate the average price per year. And the next, it will be very simple. So you just use a plot function that in the data frame and they can calculate the, the they can create this line chart for you. So that's a very simple to, to do the line chart. And the second um, chart is called histogram. So histogram shows the occurrence of date values in a statistical distribution. So for example, here we can see that this is a histogram for price. And we do see that there are some high prices in this lower range. And we see very few records of the prices in the, uh, in the high range. OK, so that is what we can tell from this histogram. So I think in the statistics, you you have 
learn this chart where if that is a normal distribution, the histogram will look like this. OK, and now let's see an example in Python. OK, so in Python create, the histogram is actually very simple. So first, let's let's think about what variables we want to create the histogram from. So let's say we want to see the price. And here we are looking at the column of this price. And by just looking at the numbers, I don't think you can really have some insight uh, from those numbers. So if we just if we see dot I try st. Okay, so that will create a histogram for this column. So now if we run it, okay, so now we have very nice histogram, and we can see most of the records that is in a range of two hundred thousand, and we do have two house that price is above this range okay so that is creating a histogram so i think that's also very straightforward all right um, bar chart so bar chart is very common uh, to say so basically we're using the height or length of the bar uh, to compare the data in different categories and it is one dimension object because the weights uh, does not make sense so the width does not have values what we really care about is a is a height or the length and it can be complex or compound bar chart so for example in this case we have several categories so all those categories together indicate the whole value okay so all those colors uh, together indicate the whole value so that is compound um, bar chart all right, so now let's see an example of that in um, Python. So let's say that we want see the average price per house type. Okay, uh, so I'm going to just copy this one. Okay, so average price per type, which equals we are going to group by house type. Okay, and now let's see the result. OK, so here we have three uh, house types. We have condo, single family home, and also townhouse. And we know that a single family home has the highest average house price. OK, so if we want to use a visualization to tell the same story, so we can use that data frame dot plot. So if you are using plot directly, uh, I don't know what will happen. OK, so it will create a <laughs> A line chart. However, so if you want to create a bar chart, it's just simply specify the the type of the visualization. So that plot dot bar. Okay, so now we have this very nice uh, bar chart. All right, so that is creating bar chart. And our next uh, visualization uh, is called uh, pie graph. So I'm running a little bit faster because we will cover this one later again in the data visualization class. Uh, so here, pie chart is a variation of the bar chart. It uses the area to show the, the values in different category. So when we are using a pie chart, we should use different type of the colors. But we sh instead of using the same color, but we change the darkness or brightness. Okay. And one thing that keep in mind is that so you should try to avoid using pie graph. OK, so we are we are talking this one later in the uh, date visualization class, but you should not use pie graph. So because human cannot have accurate perceptions for those two dimensional uh, uh, symbols. OK, so try to avoid using pie graph. OK, so. Let's see an example that using a uh, pie graph, although that is not recommended. Um, let's say that we want to see that how many number of records in each house type. So let's say date frame. OK, and house, whoop, house type. And dot 
value counts. Okay, you can see this gave us, okay, so we have three records of townhouse, two racks of condo, and also the remaining are all single family home. Okay, so let's put that one into a variable. So let's call it count per type. Okay, and if we look at that date frame, all right, we have the same result. Okay, so to create part um, pie chart, it's very simple. So that is plot dot. Uh, you may already guessed that yes. Yeah, so that plot dot it just tell that okay. So what is uh, uh, the the type of the graph? So that is pie, and now we have this very nice pie chart. Also, again, pie graph is not recommended. Okay, so our last uh, visualization type is called scatter plot. So scatter plot is used to show the variation or co correlation, correlation or relationship of two variables. So in this case, we can see the white and the price, the weight and the price has a very strong positive correlation. And sometimes we can use the change the size or the color of the dot to indicate the third variable. So for example, here, we change the size to show the clarities. Okay, so in this case, you can see that uh, the bigger the, the dot is, so it has higher clarity of the diamond. Okay, so that is a scatter plot. And let's say an example in Python. So to create a scatter plot, so here let's say we want to see the uh, relationship between the area of the house and also uh, the price of the house. Okay, I don't have the table. Okay, um, so if we look at the data, the data frame, you can see we have the price and also we have the area. So if we want to use a, a scatter plot to show the relationship between price and also area, so we can do that in data frame. So df.plot.scatter. Okay, so here with x equals area, y equals price. So now if we create this visualization, uh, we can see normally that if the house is bigger, the price will be higher. But we do have two outliers, you can see here. So we do have those outliers. And, and as we said in the lectures, we can also introduce the third variable so that we can change the colors or change the size or symbols of the dot uh, to show the relationship among those three variables. So here, let's say we want to use color equals a year that has been built. OK, so now if we write and we can see the, the darker the dot is, so that it built in the most recent years. And the bright dots mean that they are built in the in the past years. Uh, so now you can see uh, basically for the recent years, the house will have this uh, relationship where the bigger the house is, the more expensive the house is. And we can see those two outliers are very old house. So that is very interesting. 